very good, good afternoon to everybody myself Arun Ranjan Naik HOD Electrical and Natural Polytechnics today I am going to discuss regarding AC and DC position control of servo motors so let us start in control system DC signal refer to unmodulated signals AC signal refers to modulated signals this definition differ from our normal meaning of AC and DC Considering a servo, servo stabilizer, considering a servo stabilizers, first a typical DC position control applied servo stabilizers. The secondary winding variable tap positions is driven by DC servo motors. A feedback potentiometer wiper is similarly rotated by some theta as variable tapping. Suppose reference voltage is higher than feedback voltage, this drives the motor in one direction. This causes wiper mounted on the servo motor shaft to move and output voltage increases. Simultaneously feedback voltage also rises as potentiometer runs moves in the direction towards reference value. The error decreases and will be zero when both these voltages are equal. At this moment, motor stops rotating and further corrections are stopped. Thus, motor is driven by error voltage. The direction depends on the polarity of the errors. So, for the reason, we have drawn a figure here. This is mechanical linkage. This is secondary of the stabilizer. This is connected to the load. This angle is theta. This one is a motor. This is half to the motor. And the motor is connected with an amplifier and this is reference voltage and the feedback potentiometer is connected here. Second AC position controls. In AC position control, the DC servo motor of above figure is replaced by AC servo motors. Cons again, the error voltage drives the motor and polarity of error decides the clockwise or counterclockwise sense of rotations. At zero error, control voltage is zero, so two phase AC servo motor cannot rotate. This one is the diagram for AC servo motors. This is AC amplifier, this is the motor rotor, this is fixed reference, this is connected to the loads, this is feedback voltage, this is sinusoidal AC voltage, this is the reference voltage, error voltage to the AC amplifiers. This error voltage is released from the feedback. Next, another topic that is DC TACO generators. The permanent magnet DC servo motor when coupled to a rotating shaft won't generate voltage proportional to speed. TACO generator is also known as TACO meter. It is an another method for improving the performance of servo motors. It can be viewed as a transducer converting the velocity of shaft proportional to DC voltage. The DC tachometer provides visual speed readout of a rotating shaft. Such tachometers are directed directly connected to a voltmeter which is calibrated in revolution per minute or in RPM. The permanent magnet tachometers are compact, efficient and reliable but have high inertia. Due to inertia of rotors, ironless rotors are can be used. Permanent magnet units are compensated with temperature sensitive magnetic sounds that divert portion of the pole flux according to temperature variations to maintain linear relationship between speed and the generator voltage. Advantages of servo motors. First advantages are several advantages there. This is generator voltage are free from undesirable waveforms and phase shift. Second, no residual voltage is present at zero speed. Third, possible to generate very high voltage gradient in small size. Fourth, can easily be compressed 
for temperature changes can be used with a high pass output filter to reduce velocity tax so one way to discuss first one advantage is generated voltage are free from undesirable waveforms second it having no residual voltage next possible to generate high voltage gradient in small size means high voltage gradient is possible to generate and can easily be compressed by for temperature changes can be used for high pass output filter to reduce servo voltage tax next one is ac tachometers three diagram shows an ac tachometers for an ac tachometer a sinusoidal voltage of rated value is applied to the primary winding which is also known as a reference winding this is starter this is rotor this one is the coupling rotating body this one is the output voltage this is secondary winding this one is fixed voltage that is primary windings and these are the rotating body and this is the output voltage theta r this is the rotor and this is one is nothing but the starter this is primary winding and this one is the secondary windings this is the rotating body this is the coupling this is the rotor and this one is starter so for an ac tachometer a sinusoidal voltage of rated value is applied to primary winding which is known as reference winding the secondary winding is placed at a 90 degree mechanically apart in space from the primary windings when rotor shaft is rotated the magnitude of the sinusoidal output voltage et will be proportional to rotor speed thus when the rotor shaft is stationary the output voltage is zero the phase of the output voltage is determined by direction of rotation the transfer function of an ac tachometer a eft is equal to k d theta by dt that implies es by theta s is equal to k into s where es is equal to laplace transform of output voltage theta s is equal to laplace transform of rotation rotor positions k is equal to constant or we can write e0 is equal to kt into omega where kt is equal to tachometer constant voltage per rpm omega is equal to shaft speed in radian per second even though the output of an ac tachometer is an ac voltage then also tachometer can be used in dc servo mechanisms because if the output of ac voltage is converted into dc voltage by the use of a demodulator in servo mechanism ac tachometer generators are used to provide the output rate dampings advantages ac tachometer can be used as speed measuring devices second also ac tachometers can be used as electromechanical integrator in analog computers